What is up fam? Welcome back to Leslie Jones Tarot. This reading here is for my Scorpio Zodiac signs. Hope y'all are well. Hope y'all are having an amazing week so far. Baby girl sleep. <laughs> but we're going to dive in. We're going to see if we can do a couple of messages. She over here laying down taking a nap. She may wake up. So let's see what's going to come after you Scorpio. What's going on with Scorpio? What messages do you have for Scorpio? Messages for Scorpio. What's going on with Scorpio? Alright, energy for Scorpio. New love. New love. New person or unknown person. I got new love coming in. Oh. Now I'm here. Love, love. No, no. Now, a lot of y'all, this could be a new person coming in for you that you already know currently. Maybe you're falling in love. The emotions are starting to pick up. You're starting to feel something for this person. That heart chakra is starting to open up. Whew, yes, I know, right? Um, others of you, this could be newfound love for yourself, okay? Or if you're not into looking for love, things like that, you could be falling in love with a new craft or a new opportunity, okay? But a lot of y'all, it could be like self-love as well. And then you have a known person. So this could be somebody you haven't met yet, but somebody is on the way. Scorpio, you are, um, for some of y'all, y'all may meet someone that could have like blonde hair, lighter hair. Um, something about their eyes may be particular. This woman on here has green eyes. It could be male or female. Um, lips um, this person could maybe like wearing red lipstick or like a tinted lip others of you it's something about the pigmentation on the lips it's different you know it's uh like pink colored beautiful smile i'm seeing really white teeth um this person may dress casual a lot i uh, don't really with a blonde female lighter hair laid back type of energy this person could be very laid back um you know just casual you know, they're, they kind of go with the flow type of energy. Not saying that that's how they're going to be, but they just kind of go with the flow. You won't feel pressured around this person. You'll just feel eased and relaxed. Like, you won't feel like you're having to rush or you're having to, like, hurry up and do something or hurry up and prove something. You, you won't feel like you have to prove yourself to this person. It's going to be like an easy flowing relationship is what I see with this laid back energy. When you meet this person, you'll know. I, I feel like you won't really be nervous you just it's like it's like you've known this person before you know like something about you meeting this person it's like man like this is it's like man i've known you for a long time you know type of energy that's what that's giving me others of you this could be your energy towards this person this person meets you and they're like dang man you're like really laid back i feel like i can talk to you about anything i feel like you know your energy is that just that type of vibe you know um Let's see what else comes out. Okay. Oh. You could be somebody's new love, Scorpio. All right. What's going on with Scorpio's energy? What's going on with Scorpio's energy? We have intuition. The red flags you ignore now will come back to bite later. Okay. So your intuition is picking up on something. And what is that something? I'm worried. Pregnancy. Ooh. Someone is expecting. Okay. Be careful of somebody trying to rush you into bed or not wanting to take things easily if you if you find if you meet somebody because underneath that was the um dating queen opportunity states in abundance so some of y'all could be out there dating like getting to know people if there's somebody trying to rush in and like knock you up or talk about pregnancy like getting pregnant like fast boom 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 like moving fast on something um with this pregnancy card this could be like giving birth to like starting a business jumping into a business um, or like, I'm sorry, I just got a text. <laughs> um, jumping into a business or like starting a business or like, um, like kind of like blindsiding you, like not really just go, like going with the flow, like kind of rushing you into something. Make sure you pay attention to those red flags, okay? Because it's like spirit's trying to tell you to like, that easy going is what's going to be working for you. Or that's how the relationship is going to feel. Like, if you, if you got somebody that's, like, rushing in, like, okay, well, we got to have a baby within the first two, three months of meeting. We need to move in. We need to do this. We need to do that. There's something. There's red flags about that, okay? 
yeah some of y'all y'all got somebody that's returning this could be the reason why this is a new person they could be coming in new energy new energy we have communicate compromise forgive work it out challenges make a decision work on inner healing and they'll be back expect to hear from them soon so this could be somebody that left okay at one point maybe you tried to compromise with this person maybe um, you tried to work things out with this person um, but this person could have could have needed to work on inner healing you know maybe they were dealing with some sort of childhood wounds or something like that but whoever this is i see them coming back uh, to speak with you here Let's see what else do we have for scorpio all right scorpio's energy what's going on what's coming towards the scorpio i'm gonna do wow did i really just put that deck like that what the world that was crazy um i'm gonna do these readings i'm gonna do for tomorrow um, I have these uploaded for tomorrow. So if I if I get a couple extra done, if she stays asleep long enough and I get a few done, I'll post some more tonight. All right, what else is coming in for Scorpio, please, Spirit? What else is coming in for Scorpio? Oh, my nose is starting to itch. What else is coming in for Scorpio? What else is coming in for Scorpio? Pathway. And official person, bottom of the deck. Okay. So some of y'all, you will have two paths to choose from. You can go in one direction or you can go in another direction here, okay? With this butterfly energy, this is going to send you through some sort of transformation. Make sure you're listening to your intuition as well. Um, Some of y'all have something with legal going on. You have two paths to take in courthouse thief and bad health. Um, And you're going to have to make a decision. You're going to have to make, make a choice, okay? Because... Um, for some of y'all, something, yeah, privileged lady. Some of y'all, y'all are dealing with a situation where you are missing on money or you may hit a hard patch, but that is going to change. Whatever this hard patch is, if you got to go through some sort of legalities, it's like you may have to pay some sort of money up front, but it'll come back to you, okay? It, it's like um, you'll be better off in the end in some sort of way. It, it's just, it's not right now. I'm seeing the number 23, that's 5, so this changes. Uh, 24, that's 6. That's about choices, making a decision. 31, that's 4. Could be about a home situation. And 12, that's 3. So, again, that's the future. That's foresight. But whatever this is right now, it may feel like you have to dish out some money or dish out something. But you're going to get it back with that privileged lady or masculine energy. Privileged lady or male, okay? So you have two, yeah, official person that could be like a judge, jury, lawyer, something like that. Okay, something to do with law. But you have two paths to choose which direction you want to take. Okay. Spirit, clarify this new love energy. What other messages do you have coming towards Scorpio? The Tower, the Magician. Okay, so some sort of chaos is coming in. Be careful of getting involved in chaos with this intuition. You're um, you're picking up on something about some sort of tragedy. Some of y'all, y'all could be going through a divorce. It's showing up again. Bottom of the deck, the Magician. Some of y'all could be manifesting something. Be careful of a smooth talker too, like somebody trying to talk you out of something. Some of y'all are in this manifestation mode and like you're trying to manifest your desires and wishes. So what is this? What's this tower about, Spirit? Can I clarify this? What's the tower? What's the tower about? For Scorpio. We have fishing for comments in reverse, okay? Crying of you, sad, hurt, upset, etc. Okay, what's going on with the tower for Scorpio? Impersonator. Hmm. Wants to be you, acts like, dresses like, looks like, copies you. What's going on for Scorpio? Always parting. Okay. Ooh. What's going on? And ignoring. Okay. So for some of y'all reflecting, there is some sort of, somebody's having some sort of tower moment. Um, and this could have been in the past because fishing for comments is in reverse. Somebody may, may have went ghost on social media or may have stopped like, um, putting stuff on social media or saying certain things on social media. Somebody is um, upset over you, 
hurt or sad in some sort of way, this person, you may have seen them as like a copycat or they could have been trying to impersonate you. Um, you may feel like they wanted to like be you in some sort of way, like get into your skin or copy you, pretend to be you in some sort of way. For some of you, this person drinks a lot or they like to party. They live like a party lifestyle, like a um, let me be free and do whatever I want type of lifestyle. They could be very irresponsible. Um, but I feel like this person uh, was ignoring this in the past or they seen that you ignored it in the past, but they're reflecting, they're now reflecting on this because they realized the thief and bankrupt here that they may have lost out on a money opportunity. Somebody could have been like ignoring a situation, how serious the situation is. And that's why the tower is coming in here. Nightmares moving and moving on. Thank you, next. Yeah, because somebody is literally moving on, moving forward now. Somebody is leaving somebody behind. This is somebody's worst nightmare. Somebody may not be sleeping well because of this. Because somebody's moving on. Somebody may, may be at, at like losing sleep over this situation because they were trying to like, or this is somebody that could have like either impersonated you or tried to like make it out to be like, or, or got with somebody that's like you to try to copy your energy or something like that. What's that? Why is that impersonator there? What's the impersonator about? Talk about this energy. Brainstorming. Ideas, problem solving, figuring shit out. Okay. And staying centered. Aligning yourself with the universe. So, this is somebody. Something about your energy, Scorpio. The way that you seem to solve problems and resolve things in your life. This person wishes that they could do that. Like, they wish that they were like you. Or they wish that they were capable of doing that the way that you do. Like something about the way that you tend to transmute your energy or something like that is what is what they wish that they could do. I don't know what you did or how you transmuted your life or changed your life or clarify more on about the personator. Betrayal, deceit, backstab, traitor, not to be trusted. And then a situation is about to explode. Shit's about to pop off up in flames. Yeah. So there's a situation where things are about to blow up, okay? Because somebody has been impersonating, pretending to be somebody that they're not, and this had and this this could have created some sort of betrayal, or somebody could have stabbed somebody in the back. There's also somebody looking at them like you're a traitor, like I don't trust you. You're not who you said you were because, again, they could have impersonated you or tried to copy your energy in some sort of way, or had somebody copying your energy in some sort of way. Whatever the situation is, it's about to come out. This could have something to do with cheating. Somebody could be fake apologizing here. It's like, yeah, chill out and pregnancy test. Um, red lipstick stains, evidence of cheating, fake apology, chill out, and then pregnancy test. It's like somebody wishes that... It's like somebody may come towards you and be like, hey, I'm sorry for this, but they don't really mean it with that fake apology here. With that chill out and pregnancy test, it's like somebody really don't, if they're reflecting in the past, then somebody could have been doing this, like pretending like they were pregnant or like they got somebody pregnant and they could have betrayed you with that, you know, maybe this, maybe they cheated on you and got somebody pregnant and somebody feel betrayed by that. Now somebody feel like, nah, I can't trust you. You not, you know. But with this pregnancy test, somebody could have been like, you know, maybe it was a pregnancy scare. Maybe it wasn't, you know, some for some of you it was positive. Others of you it was just like they were unsure. Could have been a false pregnancy. Now somebody could be trying to brainstorm how to get out of this situation. Oh, child, this is messy. Okay, spirit, um, give me a fortune cookie because I'm about to exit this reading with that. Anything else, Spirit? Anything else? Okay. We have you wow, you got two cards that have opportunities on them. Look. The first one says an important offer will be made. Be prepared and dressed to impress. And then opportunities. A stranger is about to change your life. Exciting times and plenty plenty of action plus a special 
family reunion looks likely. All right, well, there you are. Some opportunities coming up, major opportunities. What's at the bottom? Difficult times, be on your guard against chaos as unforeseen perils or emotional upheaval are foretold. I hate saying that word, upheaval, up, upheaval. <laughs> I hate saying the word, upheaval, okay? So that could be what that tower is. There's a tower coming in, okay? So, um, yeah, I'm going to leave it there, Scorpio. This is what I have for you. Hope it brings you clarity and insight. Appreciate y'all so much for watching. Catch y'all in the next video. Bye, guys.